Hello, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to use the all operator from the C++ link library. As target board I'm going to be using a fire beetle board from DF Robot. So the all operator basically allows us to evaluate if all the elements of a range fill a given criteria or not. If all the elements fill that criteria, then this operator returns true, otherwise if at least one of the elements doesn't fill that criteria, it will return false. In our simple scenario we are going to use this to check if all the elements of an array array are lesser than 100. Uh, if all the elements are, then the all operator should return true, otherwise it should return false. Let me just do a comparison with the any operator that we covered in the previous tutorial, where um, we evaluated, and the any operator is used for this, if at least one of the elements fill that criteria. So for the any operator is enough that one of the elements fill our criteria. For the all operator, all the elements of our range need to fill that criteria and that's the difference and basically both operators are very useful and they can be used in different scenarios so getting right to the code as usual you start by including the library and declaring the using of the c++ link namespace and then moving on to the setup where we typically write our code for our simple examples uh, we start um, by opening a serial connection after that, we are going to define an array uh, that we'll use first to, to apply the all operator. And in the case of this array, if you can, uh, if you check closely, every element is lesser than 100. This means that every element will fill, will fill our criteria. So if we apply the all operator over, our, um, over this array, we expect it to return true. So, but looking into the actual code, Basically, we do what we have been doing before. So we convert this array to a range object, so we can uh, apply the C++ link operators, and then we simply call the all operator. As input, it will receive a function. Here it is specified with the uh, C++ lambda syntax, but basically this function specifies uh, the condition that we want to check. Then this function will be ap uh, applied to each individual element um, of our range and if it returns true for all the elements like the name of the operator indicates if it returns true for all the elements then the all operator will return uh, true if it returns false for at least one of the elements of um, the range then the all operator will return false in terms of um, syntax Basically, um, in terms of uh, C++ lambda syntax, this bit here corresponds to the, um, to the captures of the function. We are not making use of it. Then, since the function is applied per each element of the range and each element is an integer, uh, basically the argument of this function is an integer. And then here in the body, uh, we specify the implementation of our criteria. In our case, it's checking if uh, the element is lesser than 100. In case it is, we return true. Otherwise, it's, it, uh, we return false. Uh, the returning type of the function, we don't need to specify it explicitly because the compiler will infer it for us. So basically this expression tree, just to recap, will return true if all the elements over which we will apply this function uh, are true, this function returns true for all these elements. Otherwise, if at least one returns false, then globally the all, uh, the all operator will be false. As we have seen since our original uh, array has elements, all the elements lesser than 100, then this expression here will always return true for each element, so we expect that this result array 1 will have the, the value true at the end. Now we are going to do the same uh, for a uh, second array, so we are going to define here a second array, and as you can see here, some of the elements are indeed lesser than 100, but the others are not. So globally, uh, if we apply the all operator over this array with the same criteria, since some of the elements will return false, then globally the all operator will return false. Um, and that's precisely what we are going to, to do here. Basically, we are going to apply the all operator uh, over our array. Naturally, first we convert it to a range, and then we apply the all operator pretty much with the same lambda function here passed as input that checks uh, if each individual element is lesser than 100 or, or not. Uh, since at least two elements, as you can see here, these two elements don't fill our criteria, for this our function will return false, so globally the all operator will return false.
And that's it, very simple. Again, this is a, an operator in terms of functionality similar to the any operator, but in this case, it evaluates all the, all the elements. They all need to fill the criteria. Then we are going to print the result to the serial port so we can uh, check if what we obtain matches what, uh, what we have said uh, here while analyzing the code. So as usual, I've already uploaded uh, the code to my SP32, just to a setting here so you can see it running from the beginning. And as expected, for array 1, we have obtained the value true. This means that for array 1, all the elements filled our criteria, all the elements were lesser than 100. And for array 2, uh, we obtain the value 0, which corresponds to false, which basically indicates that not all the elements um, fill the, the, the criteria. Naturally, when we go to the all operator, we don't care how many elements fill or not the criteria, uh, because the, the purpose of this, uh, of this operator is just to return a Boolean value globally to check if all fill or not. If we wanted, by some reason, to evaluate how many did not fill or how many filled the criteria, one simple way would be using the where operator, chained with the count operator, uh, something along the, those lines would allow us to get a bit more information um, if we need it. In this case, we assume that we don't need, uh, so we use the all operator. As you can see here, so uh, either by using the built-in C++ link operators or to combine multiple ones, the things we can do are uh, countless. This is very powerful and a very useful library. And uh, in this case, uh, we have seen the purpose of the all operator. Uh, hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.